everyone, Service Mike from Royal Truck and Trailer. Today, we're back at our worn facility with our handy dandy axle stand, and today we're gonna talk about the Stemco Zip Torque Spindle Nut. You may recall the video we did on installing our preset hub. Uh, we'll link that here in the, in the video right now. And we used the three-piece spindle nut design. We used an inner nut with the locking washer and the outer jam nut. Today, we're gonna take that apart and we're gonna show you how to install the Zip Torque Nut. As we prepare to install the Zip Torque Nut, we turn the box over and see that Stemco already provided us with cross-reference numbers and the socket sizes we'll need. Let's install this nut and check our end play with our dial indicator. As we remove our old spindle nuts off of our axle stand, now's a good time to mention that we recently heard from our friends at Great Dane that in, starting in 2021, the Zip Torque nut will be standard equipment. So technicians, please subscribe and like this video so you can come back and look at it anytime for the procedure to install the Zip Torque. So now we're ready to install the Zip Torque. Let's just explain what the 211 procedure is. The 211 procedure means you're gonna put 200 foot pounds on the nut initially. And what that's gonna do is help seat the seal, seat the ABS sensor, just set the hub into place, 200 foot pounds. Then we'll back the, the nut off one full turn, get it nice and loose again. And then we're gonna to torque it to 100 foot pounds. We're gonna do that three times as we spin the hub. We'll do it all together uh, on the axle stand. So that would be the two, the one, and then you have one more one. The last one would be moving, backing the nut off one position of the, of the nut. If you can see each nut is marked with these circles, you'll back the nut off one position of these circles. And we'll do that together too. So to install your Pro Torx on your spindle, all you need to do is line up the tang that came that comes with the nut with the key slot that's on your spindle and screw it on. We will run this initially all the way down to 200 foot pounds for the first step of our 211. We will set our torque wrench at 200 foot pounds and get it to click down. We spin the hub at least one full rotation. Do that again. Spin it. Get it to click one more time. So now we are preset at 200 foot pounds. We just seated our wheel seal. We seated the ABS sensor where it should ride. We'll now back the nut off until it's loose and go to step two, which would be 100 foot pounds. Back the nut off at least one full turn. Now we'll reset our torque to 100 foot pounds with our torque wrench. Do that three times. And we're there. Give that a good spin. Now we will do the final step of the 211, which is moving one of these circles to a previous circle spot. And here's how we're gonna do that. So I have a circle right here, and I have a circle right here. In order to back this off, I need this circle to line up with where this circle is. What I'm gonna do is line up this bolt hole with this circle. That way all I have to do is get this part here lined up with that hole. That's lined up with that. We are good to go. So we install our dial indicator on our spindle end. It's a magnetic end. And we put our gauge right against the hub surface. We make sure there's no gasket material or lumps or bumps anywhere in the, the end. I actually give it a little turn just to make sure there isn't any variance in the hub. And we set our gauge right at zero. And then you just give it a good pull and give it a good push. We usually spin it, try to get as much as we can in, try and get as much as we can out. 
we are looking pretty good here. We have about three thousandths back, right back to zero. So we have our acceptable end play of three thousandths. We are allowed between one and five. So I hope you enjoyed this video on the Zip Torque Nut. If you'd like to see more videos like this on products of our industry, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We'll also link the part numbers for the Zip Torque Nuts that are common to uh, steer axles, trailer axles, and drive axles. If you have any comments or suggestions for future videos, we'd love to hear from you. Please leave those in the comments below.